welcome to Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is Lesson 7B. So we're going to build on the uh, project we started in Lesson 7, which was uh, a profile and task that whenever we received a text message, if it was from someone who was in our contact list, then it would announce who's texting. So we're going to take this up a notch and get a little bit more advanced with it. We're going to open up that original task. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to make it so that the announcement of who's texting is uh, a little bit different each time. So it's not necessarily the same thing every time. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a task to uh, create a random variable. So we're going to choose from the action category, we're going to choose variables. And then we're going to select vari variable randomize. So select that. Now we need to name this variable. I'm going to name it 101 text announce. Um, now you'll notice I'm using all small letters, um, lowercase letters, in this variable. And as we learned in the lesson on variables, uh, when you use an uppercase letter, it makes it a a global variable. If you use all lowercase with no um, uppercase anywhere, then it's a local variable. And that means the variable is only going to hold the information until this uh, task is done. Once this task is done, then it will throw it out because it's not needed in other tasks anywhere else. It's just for this instant. So that's the name. And then we're going to select a minimum and a maximum. The minimum is going to be 1, and the maximum is going to be 3. No. Maximum is going to be 3. And that's all we need to do with that. So basically we're just creating a random number from 1 to 3 and saving it as this variable. And then we go to, uh, we're going to move this down here. And so we're going to say you received a text from, and we're going to go down here and click the if statement, if, and now we're going to choose the variable. So we're going to press that, and we just created it, 101 text announce. So if 101 text announce is 1. So this task of saying you received a text from will only happen if that variable is 1. Now we're going to create a new one. Click the plus sign, click the miscellaneous action category, and collect, collect, select say. And this time, let's, let's, uh, we're going to choose the variable for the text, text or name again. Just down here in the T's, text from name. is texting you. We're going to choose the notification stream. Again, you don't have to, but that's what I would recommend. We're going to select if. We're going to select the variable. 101 text announce is 2. Save that. So now you see it's going to announce it this way if the variable is 1, this way if the variable is 2, and let's add one more. Select miscellaneous. Select say. from name. I'm going to say Eric, comma, and then I'll have a name. Has texted you. I'm going to select notification. 
click the F button, select the variable, 101 text announce, and we're going to, if it's number 3. So you can probably see really easily what we've done is simply before announcing the text, it selects a, a, a random number between 1 and 3, and then depending on what that random number is, it will only execute one of these. So now you have three different phrases that when you receive a text, it will announce one of these three, and it's random. So that way, you're not hearing the same thing every time you get a text. It'll be slightly different when you get a text. So just makes it a little bit more uh, interesting. So we can test this out rather easily by just uh, going into my text messaging center here and sending myself a text. Eric Roy is texting you. So that was one phrase. You received a text from Eric Roy. You received a text from Mary Gry. Mary Gry is texting you. So you can see it's completely random. Because it's completely random, you may get the same phrase several times in a row. Um, or you may get totally uh, and completely different things each time. It's gonna it's a random number. So one other thing you might want to add to it, and this is just up to you, is uh, as you can see it was announcing who is texting almost at the same instant that the little uh, uh, notification tone was playing. So if you wanted to, you could add uh, another action, select task, and select wait, and then however many seconds, um, like 500 milliseconds, which is basically half a second, would probably be enough for me for that. Um, if you have a notification tone for your text messages that's a little bit longer, then you might want to make it one second or two seconds. Whatever works for you, obviously, or not use this at all and not have a notification for text messages, just use this as your notification. Whatever works for you. But if you wanted to do this, you could do this. And then uh, you press on the right here and drag it up to make it the first thing. And uh, there you go. That's how you uh, now have a uh, profile and task that not only uh, uh, announces who's texting you, but does it in one of three ways which uh, changes randomly. So that's it for uh, Lesson 7B. Uh, if you like this lesson, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, or uh, add the playlist to your favorites to keep up with future lessons. Also, check out my channel for Android app reviews, NFC 101 tutorials, uh, product reviews, and things like that. Um, share this uh, uh, video with anyone you want on Reddit, Facebook, Google+, any of those fun ways down there. If you have questions or comments, throw them below. And I'll do my best to reply. And that's about it. Until next time, have fun with Tasker.